All right, let's go. Actually goes up this straight up here rather than along that path for some reason. So it's got gates and houses. They'll be open. Uh, and there's a couple of gates that I think there might be a couple of gates that are actually taken off the um, they'll be taken off the, the hinges to make sure there's plenty of room for for the, the busier races. Uh, we might be today, but hopefully not the twenty seventh. Yeah. Hey, uh, morning. Well done. Uh, we're, well, no, because so we've put. If you remember, in the northeasterns, um, it was a four lap. Yeah. We put some extra loops in oh, to turn it into a three. So we're about to turn right uh, at this. So it's the second crossroads, <laughs> cross pass, whatever. <clears throat> So this will be the first little climb, but it's quite gentle. Turn right here. There's no, there's no fast moving packs or not not in the championship no. races, no. no, no. So all together, everyone's equal for at least a couple of yards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. How many people do you think we're doing that? Um, I'm trying to remember. I think last the Northerns was it 500 odd men in the senior men's race. They, they expect over 2,000 athletes overall wow. in the across the race. Yeah. Right, straight on. Then we're going to do a circuit of this little outcrop of trees from the going anti-clockwise it's not going to be tapered in uh, yeah it'll be marshalled. it'll be marked and marshalled yeah uh, and there's a couple of sections where uh, as you can see the grass isn't cut all the way around where so we're going right here um, and the, the route takes you away from paths or desire lines but there's a couple of short sections that will be mowed before the event hey well I suspect that's not the intention <laughs> Like this section, for example. <laughs> By the time the senior men get to it, it'll be trampled down anyway. So. Yeah, it's the last race of the day. So plenty of time to get warmed up and for the ground to get churned up. Hello. <laughs> I'm going up there. <clears throat> uh. 
Lap one, five thirty one. Oh. And then through this gate on the right. We'll be going through that bigger gate on the day, which will be uh, open. Now this is a lovely long, flattened, bit downhill stretch. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great opportunity to get into a good rhythm. Heading north, past Hardwick Hall Hotel. We'll be just walking there. Yeah. yeah. Another gate that will be open on the day, so we don't have to negotiate a kissing gate. Thank you. So we're now into the the third of the three fields that make up the course, heading north towards the top end of the course and Devil's Ditch. Did you pick a reason why? Well, because it was full of water the first time <laughs> we ran it. <laughs> Not sure it will be today, but we'll have a look. Hopefully the winter weather will descend in the next couple of weeks. I will uh, allow some properly proper cross country conditions. Kind of replicate the 2015, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, having a go at that, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot in the memory. <laughs> I still haven't thought out. So is it not here every year then? No, no. So we. Uh, so the, the oh hello, <laughs> it's right. Uh, oh come on, you sign her up. Uh, the first, funnily enough, Sedgefield did host the Northerns in 1955, but that was at the race course. Still, still the same club. Sorry. It's like not, not the same club. Uh, no, no, Sedgefield, the, the club didn't exist then, but Sedgefield is a town hosted it back then uh, and then we hosted the North Easterns in 2015 which was the uh, the famous stroke infamous snowy day um, and then 2021 they came back but uh, that was the North Easterns and again back to the Northerns so this was definitely Devil's Ditch in 2015 but inconveniently They've sorted out the drainage down here, so it's just a bit muddy now. 
unless you chose to go through the the watery bit on the right. Yeah, it should still be fairly clarty. Oh yes, that's not bad. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. <laughs> yes, lovely. Something to look forward to on the 27th. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the, I mean, the, the the kind of the the climbs were all very runnable, uh, and I'd say it's a genuinely undulating course, but not brutal, but really good for cross country running. In 2015. The route actually took you to the right through there. But it's a bit Lap of a two, five, forty-five. down there now. So we'd definitely lose people if we went that way. Tempting though it is. So we're heading south now, having reached the apex of the top corner of the course. It gets quite muddy around here as well, uh, which is nice. Oh yes. Some good sound effects there. Yeah, yeah. On the 27th, we're coming up to a what could have been a pinch point, but uh, there's a section of the fence is going to be temporarily removed okay. to allow the traffic, as it were, which is good. Right, so we're there. Uh, yeah. Back into the middle field now. And we're about to go past some probably disinterested Hopefully. spectators here. Yeah. <laughs> On uh, some rather smart cattle that are in the fields at the moment. Fear not, on the 27th they will be corralled into one area and kept away from the runners, or the runners kept away from them, especially the Highland Cool, which has uh, recently carved. Uh, I'm not sure where that one is. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, obstruction on the course. Hello. We'll leave you be. That won't be there on the 27th, I'm reliably informed. There's no guarantee that there won't be well, hey. on the course. Oh, all right. It's okay. Hello. <laughs> right. Now we're turning right down here. Yeah. 
I actually think I've maybe turned a bit late because we should be on that path there. But no matter. Get back to it. Wanted to say hello to the cows anyway. <clears throat> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Right. We'll get just before this tree here, and then we basically turn back on ourselves. This is one of the extra loops that's been added to the course. Turn right here, left I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah yeah. Sorry? Quite generous turning points. Yeah, they're not too tight. Which is good because I don't have quite the turning circle I once did. I suspect that applies to quite a few of us. I think it's taking us for a Lap three, 5.53. Right, I think we're just going to go around here. I'm going down there. I think we actually joined this path on the right a little further back there but it's essentially where we're going again we've already been through this gate once on the way out we'll be open on the 27th and then this is uh Kind of a long, but relatively gentle drag up to a high point on in the southern field. This is the final field in the final section. Declan, this is essentially this section is pretty much the same as in the northeast. And yeah. I mean, we finished to the with a sharp left, but otherwise, it's the same. 
We get to this big tree on the left, we kind of bearing right. You can see the path splits. Morning. Right, coming straight on there, path on the right. Well, the sprint finish has started, hasn't it? <laughs> Still at least 100 yards to go. Right. Bare left. Lap 4, 518. Ah. And then... Finish will be along here. So you turn left. Heading to the finish. Well, you went too early. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> and there we go. Finished. So that's a full lap of the Northern Counties Cross Country Championships 2024 in Sedgefield. Just over four kilometre for one long lap. Uh, so two laps for the senior women, three full laps for the senior men. Lovely runnable course. Uh, hopefully by the 27th there'll be, what, about a foot of snow, do you reckon? Easily. Easily, yeah, easily. okay. Whatever the conditions, you'll be most welcome in Sedgefield. <laughs>